like and share. Episode 29, Consecration of the Honorable Cross Church Once upon a time, in a land filled with faith and wonder, there was a queen named Helena. She was the mother of a great emperor named Constantine, and she was known for her deep love for God. Queen Helena embarked on a remarkable journey, driven by her desire to uncover something truly special, the honorable cross on which our Lord Jesus Christ was crucified. You see, many years had passed since the crucifixion, and the Jewish leaders who were angered by the signs and wonders that occurred at Jesus' tomb decided to heap dirt and sweepings over it. For more than 200 years, this pile grew taller and taller, until it became a great mound called Golgotha. When Queen Helena arrived in Jerusalem and inquired about the location of the Holy Cross, the Jewish people kept it a secret. But Queen Helena, determined to find it, discovered an old Jew named Judas who knew about the Mound of Dirt. She urged him to reveal its whereabouts, and he finally told her about the immense pile. With great anticipation, Queen Helena ordered the removal of the dirt, and lo and behold, the Honorable Cross was discovered. It was a miraculous moment, a true revelation of God's love and power. Queen Helena, filled with gratitude, built a beautiful church to house the Holy Cross and consecrated it. From that day forward, the 17th day of the month of Tut became a day of great celebration for the appearance of the Honorable Cross. Year after year, Christians from all over would make pilgrimages to this sacred place, just as they did during the Easter season. They would gather, pray, and honor the cross that symbolized Jesus' sacrifice and the love he had for all people. But there was another story that unfolded during this time, one that showcased the power of faith and the transformative nature of the cross. A Samaritan named Isaac, traveling with his family, encountered a group of people on their way to Jerusalem. Isaac, a skeptic, mocked their devotion to a mere piece of wood. As they journeyed together, they faced a moment of great thirst. They came across a well, but its water was bitter and foul. Despair settled among the people, and Isaac continued to mock them. However, a priest named Ochidus, moved by divine zeal, prayed over the water and made the sign of the cross upon it. Miraculously, the water turned sweet, and everyone, except for Isaac, drank from it with joy. Isaac, Filled with regret and sorrow, approached Father Alchidas, humbled by what he had witnessed. He believed in the power of the cross and confessed his newfound faith in the Lord Christ. As he drank from the water once more, it too turned sweet, confirming his transformation. The well, touched by the power of the cross, became a symbol of divine grace. A cross of light even appeared within the well, and a church was built there to honor this incredible miracle. When Isaac and his family arrived in Jerusalem, they sought out the bishop, who joyfully baptized them. Their lives were forever changed by the power of the cross, and they became devoted followers of Christ. And so, every year on the 17th of Tut, the Church celebrates the consecration of the Honorable Cross and its miraculous appearance. It is a day of joy, gratitude, and renewed faith for all who believe in the power of God's love and the transformative nature of the cross. The stories of Queen Helena and Isaac remind us of the incredible miracles that can happen when we have faith and open our hearts to God's love. See you again soon. Subscribe, like, and share.